hey this is sensibility speaks welcome to my channel thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like share and subscribe All right, y'all, it is about that time. Let's sip some sensibility, shall we? So let's listen to Candace Dillard Bassett here at BravoCon as she's being interviewed and being asked questions about the upcoming season, honey, for Real Housewives of Potomac. And she even addresses her friendship and the status with Ashley. Let's get into it. And I think even Jizzy and her Green Eye Bandit even chime in here and there. that you would be afraid to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with? I'm not scared of nobody but Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And th but this is the thing. I, I love that I have been given this title, but I, I actually don't enjoy arguing. I don't enjoy shaking. I don't enjoy reading. But for whatever reason, Girl. the state of the eighth is... No, no, no. When, when the eighth comes to my porch, what do I say? My porch light is always on. I'm always <laughs> on. Do you knock on my door? I'm gonna answer and I'm gonna give you what you came to get. If that's a read, if it's a butter knife, if it's whatever it is, I'm gonna give it to you. That's it and that's all. But yeah, you can't help yourself. I can't. It's blame, blame that. I get it from my mama. Yes. But you will definitely get some shade in the chair, in some in the moments with the girls. We had a we have a lot of interesting trips, a lot of interesting pockets of fun. Okay. And you'll see a lot of the reads and the fun mixed in there. Okay. I, I, one thing I know the audience, the fans are very curious about is your relationship with Ashley. I want to bring Ashley in. What percentage of the time would you say that each of you are now friends versus frenemies? I'll start there. As of today or during filming? You know, Good question. that's a great question. You gotta Ashley, I'll take both. Um, okay, you want me to go first? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, I think right now we stand at like, a, I would say like a 70% like. That's good. 70% like. Which way? Like. 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 Like, like friends. Yes. Yes. Okay. Like we, we didn't speak at the airport when we came here. We were literally on the same plane. Yes. And neither one of us. She didn't each other know who I was. Okay. And I thought, oh, we're speaking. We walked to the airport we're with our shades on and literally like, Went right around me, okay? Did a whole I whole didn't see you. Or I, I didn't see you in the terminal. Okay, it's okay. But then, but then we, we fixed it yesterday. We did. Yeah, we we did. figured it out. Yeah. I think I've been saying she's a very smart woman, a very intelligent woman. So we work it out. And you, there's an epic we come back to, to, you know, Earth. Yeah. At some point. We really do have in flow, girl. We are like, we're the, the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. We're the we're motion the ocean. of the ocean. Yes. yes. And that what works. was the percentage during the season? Oh. Uh, A hundred percent, for sure. Thirty percent? No, you guys argue the whole time. Do we argue the whole time? Yes, the whole time. I say, I say like uh uh thirty percent. Like thirty percent. What do you say? Thirty. Like, like, is that right. accurate? So the seventy percent. Did I block it out? We argued the whole time. Yes. No, not the whole time. I remember the. But I remember. Uh, where did we go? At the table, the plate. Austin. Austin. Show yes. Austin. Austin. Girls the plates. The plates. Oh, we got Austin people in the house. Yeah. Texas people in the house. Hey! So we came to your Austin is a bomb city. We yeah. had a time in Austin. So yeah, we were throwing stuff and plates broke and stuff. So oh, Jesus, oh my God. But we we yes. we come back a little bit from that. We did. Austin was a mess. We did chicken bingo. <laughs> All of that. Yeah. Okay, well, we can't yeah, wait for that episode. So that sounds like that's going to be a good one. As does the whole season at this point. Season A is going to be good. Mia, I want to jump to you. Uh, first off, I want to ask, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How's your health? Thank you. Health is great. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you for asking. You're welcome. Because you know I'm about to answer with something. Yeah, I have to. Right on. Now, Mia, <laughs> the word on the street is, because you haven't been talking as much as Gordon has, and we know the news is out there that you guys are separated, but the word on the street is that there may be somebody new in your life? Maybe. Yes or no? Tune in tomorrow at 8 p.m. Bravo TV. Are we going to see the man tomorrow? No, you're not. Oh, okay. 
Is it a yes or no? Th there's a maybe. There's a maybe. Yeah, there's, a, there's a promise. I'm having a I'm having a maybe. Right? So, we, okay, okay, so if you think about it, right? So I have been, Gordon and I have been together for almost 15 years. And we've been married for 10, right? So when we are separated, we're legally separated, and I feel like I just want to have fun, right? I'm outside a little bit. Oh. Having fun by yourself? Yes. Outside. By yourself? No, with <laughs> with a man. Um, I want to get, we have a new housewife in NECA. Y'all give NECA a round of applause. Now something I find, well first off, how, how was the experience for you? Let's just start there. How was the experience his name? It was great. I'm a real people person. I'm a girl's girl. I like to have good time. I like vibes and energy. And these ladies really brought it. They were great friends. We had good times. We had some rocky moments. But overall, it's phenomenal. Can you hold the mic up? We want to make yes. sure you hear everything that you have to say. Now, one thing that came out in the trailer is, and Giselle, I'm going to bring you into this. Karen, I'm going to bring you into this as well. As you name said that there's a new, Giselle said there's a new grand dom in town. Right, you got to say it right. It's grand dom. Oh, excuse me, grand dom. I, I apologize. I don't even know who to look at when I say that now. I, 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 I apologize. Why? Because we, we haven't had the opportunity to meet you just yet, and we will. Do you take that title on? Because heavy is the crown. Do you agree with that? And why would Giselle say that about you? you we idea. can't give away the season. What's going on? Okay, well, does she agree? Um, I think Giselle's a very intelligent person, and oh. she did not make any errors in her assessment. So I want you guys to watch and see how this plays out, but she, she's a very um, intelligent individual. Okay, okay. and Karen, how do you feel about that? Well, listen, Nekka is a really nice person. I like Nekka, by the way, so let's be very clear. Giselle doesn't have the power to crown anyone anything. She couldn't even keep up with every hill. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. We're in a good place. We're, no, forgive me. But I, uh, no, but I gave you, I, I made up Grand Dame. Well, let's be very clear. Giselle is right. She gave me Grand Dame. Yes. Now, Giselle. I'm going to get you on this one. We're going to be all right. We're going to talk it through. Uh, uh, all right. When Giselle did that, it was not a compliment. As yes. As all of you know, I just did my was. triple 20 birthday. I am the mature one. It was meant to be old and disgusting comments, right? But I turned, took it and turned it into an empire. Ladon. Empire. Yeah. Well, no. Well, I'm sorry. So having said that, if I give a title, if I give a title, you can't, if I give a title, you can't tell me how I gave the title. Oh, you know, you I did. Yes, negative. I did. Yeah, I just sat here positive. and I did that. It was actually I, positive. Well, Giselle, at that time, I throw the tape back. But I guess I'll it. Season one, at one. It was very nice. That is her interpretation, and I received that. But anyway, I made an empire out of it. I created a whole brand, and thank you for loving it. But as far as NECA is concerned, NECA would be a great candidate to be the next wrong if I decide to advocate. <laughs> that was a, a, a nice way for you to say I like, that. I really like Nekka. Uh, I like Nekka. Whitney, I want to get to you. Hey, Whitney, last season we saw that you and Giselle had a rough year last year with your friendship. Where do you guys, where do you stand now? What, what, yeah. what show are you watching? Yeah, what, what's well, I thought maybe on? things were changing. We don't have a friendship. No, yeah, we're good, right where we are. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. And that's not together. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay, well, you know, I'm, I, a girl can be hopeful. I understand. I understand. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> as I have to say this, because I've been walking around the Bravo Bazaar, and I've seen everything, and this may be, I, I saw Eddie. And this Happy Eddie! Now, last season, something we saw, we saw you have a hot mic moment, which I feel like we don't see many of those happen. Yes. Can we expect to see you fall victim to more hot mic moments this season? Are you or to foreshadow something? I don't know. Do I don't know. know. Did you learn your lesson from last season? I tried. <laughs> Look, I told them, I said in your face, and I did said on win? the mic. I did. I said in your face, I said in the hot mic, but I will say this. I've learned my lesson. The microphone has to be off. 
You know, it has to be off your body. It has to be off your body. Yes. You know Just so y'all know, little tease. It was the microphone was off of me, but it was still on, and that's how they caught it. But now Wendy knows the microphone has to be off your body because baby, you will get caught up, and I got caught up. And you, at least you can admit that. Um, Cherise, hello. Hi. Um, Cherise, happy to have you back this season. Thank you. Um, I would like for you to give me some insight and to address kind of the elephant in the room. Um, fans spotted you at a restaurant with Chris Samuels. Oh, Lord have mercy. Do you want to explain oh, that? Take the wheel. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. So we live in the same community. Okay. And we go to a community restaurant. It's a local establishment that both of us frequent. I was minding my own business going there. It's my cheers. He was already there with two friends. They invited me to come over. He wanted to apologize for some things that were said in the past. Other people were sitting there. Some random person decides to take a picture. And we're on a date. No, he's not my type. I'm sorry. Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you. Um, something we saw last season, and I'm, I'm asking because I'm a hopeful person, Giselle. Um, for this next season, do you think it's possible that your friendship with Karen changes? And do you think that maybe it's possible that things have been a little bumpy because you guys are a little similar? Are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, you were talking, I thought you said just no, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Okay, well, then I get my answer. Okay. Um, I actually like Karen. Karen doesn't like me. So, um, I, I really can't project the future of that. Do you want to respond to that? Is that true or not true? Let, no, I don't dislike okay. Therese. Let's be very clear, but I would like to say this. We all know that relationships and friendships have seasons and our season has ended, and that's okay. And I'm okay with that. I can be cordial with your grace. I wish her well, but you know, I, that's it, I'm done. Okay, okay. Um, and you know, wait a minute, I just have to say, from Deion Sanders, you know, sometimes my confidence, you know what it does, overshadows your insecurities. Friendship now. I'm gonna segue. I'm gonna talk to Giselle and Robin here <laughs> because it's it has been really beautiful to see you guys. Your friendship. We're friends before this. You've been able, unlike some people on the stage, to maintain that friendship. Um, you've been friends for a very long time. Some people might even say that you're loyal to each other to a fault. I'm wondering in, in these seasons as you watch back, has there been one time where you can cop to one fight from the show where you took your bestie side, but then later you were like, mm, maybe she was actually wrong? That's your answer, because I'm normally doing something wrong. So, <laughs> no, I mean, I think when I, when I think you're wrong, I tell you um, on the show, whether it's shown or not, <laughs> that's, a, that's another story. Um, but no, I don't, I can't think of, nothing sticks out to me where it's like, oh, I'm supposed to tell Giselle how horrible she is, or how wrong she was. No, we wouldn't yeah. that. Yeah. But I mean, there are, there, are, there are blaring things that Robin told me not to do, but I did. Like, when I made the t-shirt about um, Karen and all that, she told me not to do that. They never showed it. But like, Robin has been trying to get me to do certain, not do certain things for years. Okay. <laughs> about to start doing Q&A. I know you guys are going to run up to the microphone. I know you have your questions. Let's, um, let's try to be on our best behavior. Right. These ladies are giving you their time. They've been gracious. They've been honest. They've been a good time, as they always are. So think of those questions that you want to ask. And the last question that I have for you guys.